Hey everyone, this is Man in a Black Hat. And Game Collector. And we're back for more. Let's play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. First look on Rezowalkers.com. And we finished the boss rush. Yay. We've also you gotten a new shield, which I haven't equipped yet. Oh yes, that's right. So first... Sit down on a chair and recharge your life as you get ready to equip that really, really awesome shield. But first, to the sky and save as well. Yes, save, saving would be nice. And now, and to the sky. To yes. the sk -k -k sky? Hush. Yay! Loading screen over. Let's see, what else did we have to do? Oh, that's right, we had a boss fight. Because we're going to be continuing with the plot. Yay! Plot! But first, we've got some stuff to offload. Oh, offload, upload, and purchase. There we go. Done. Into the bazaar. Well, it is a rather bizarre place. Right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Shield goes right the hell away now. Yeah, because. And look, there's the shield that will be replacing it. Sell it? Wait, for, for only 500. Yeah. You lost money on that. Oh well. Granted, you did get money back by feeding a whole boss rush and stuff. Hmm. And now you want to replace, yeah, you want to sell that and replace the other metal with the potion metal, because you're going to need it. Uh -huh. Well, I'm not going to need it before the boss fight's done. <laughs> now, doesn't that just look awesome? <laughs> and during the time of this video recording, I let Mr. Hat know that Link of Skyward Sword has his own Figma figurine, and he comes with the Hylian shield and the Master Sword. Yep. Yay, Air Potion! Because I know what is coming up for the uh, water thingy. And now you want to enhance the it. Right. Yes, we want to infuse the potion with bugs. Bug juice! And wow. we need a sky stag beetle. Two of them, in fact. Well, you can get one from around here, and you can get another one from the bug island. True, but I don't think I'll need to leave the island in order to get both. Loading. But that's why you have the bug metal for. Right. But I know where all the sky stag beetles are on this island. Doesn't necessarily mean they'll automatically be there. True, but I know what their spawn points are and can thus search for them. Yep, there's the one over by the school. Yep. That little green dot up there. And... We go back and zoom in, just to be sure. And there's the one by the windmill, too. Yeah. Which I didn't think about at the time. Right. 
go. He has the no places to get them. And this is probably going to be the last potion we ever infuse. Ever. Pretty much. Because the one that's already been infused twice is not going to come out of the stock room until the end of the game. Yeah. You'll need it. Probably. Badly. Probably. Also, three fairies at once would be a good idea. Yeah. Why did you... Oh, right. I was about to ask, why did you do that? And then I was like, oh, right, you still need one other bug. Yeah. And over we go. Hello, bug. Yay! Now you can go inside and make your bug juice. Yes, I can. So let's do that. Go inside. Right into a loading screen. At least it's not like a loading screen on certain Xbox games where it lasts forever. <laughs> eh. Anyways, let's get this potion finally infused. And infuse it! Yes! I wouldn't have chosen it if I didn't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay, Air Potion Plus. Huh, neat. So it's fully upgraded. Now you need one more stop. Yep. Uh -huh. And it's to get that potion metal. So yes. it's kind of a good thing that you still had the bug metal in your pocket at that time. I actually do plan ahead, believe it or not. Let's see. Potion metal is... Right next to the you? bug metal. Oh, there it is. It's the one shaped like an hourglass. Well, let's get it going. And it's time to visit Farron Woods for, I believe, the final time. Yes. Once I'm done with Farron Woods this time, I won't ever be returning to it. Well... Not necessarily. You'll be returning to it one last time, but not of your own volition. Right. And... That should be on track for dive time. Yep. <laughs> Come on, line up. Line up. It, really, it, game? It, it, it. Come on. There you go. There we are. What? Okay. Behind the temple time. Yes. Because there is nothing left to stop this boss fight from happening. Nope. And so... You're going to pull out the net and grab some bugs, aren't you? Why not? So do I Granted. This way? No, but there's something over there I could get. Hi, guys. Both of you. Those flowers just glow? Mm, no, not from what I saw. Huh. That was weird. Must have been a trick of the camera. Might have been. Oh, he's saying the same damn thing again. 
No, but you can reveal a goddess wall right next to him, but we didn't do that at the time. No. And we're probably never going to. Ever. Because we don't care. And the door is locked. Huh. Oh, That's well. odd. Well, why don't you try going up front then? Okay. Here we go. And down. And a cutscene. Link, bad news. That beast looks like it's about to break free again. Gotta get in position. Hang tight. Whoa. Feels like that seal's gonna give way any second. No need to panic. You know what the Grusinator can do, am I right? As long as I'm at the control of this bombshell beauty, I don't even know the meaning of the word defeat. No, seriously, could you give me a dictionary? Flinging bombs on this monster's face, defending the land, it's my purpose, I think. It's why I'm here. Anyway, Link, I got work to do. Try not to get in the way of my shots, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And down we go. Down to fight that thing that pops up that looks like a pangolin from hell. Uh, get the bombs ready. Because they're actually kind of somewhat useful. You know, if we can actually make the trick work. I just realized when it's glowing red, the seal Link put down looks kind of like the Black Widow's hourglass. Huh. Neat. Hello, imprisoned. Hello, pangolin with teeth. Many, many, many teeth. Like a shark's mouth. The Imprisoned. Fight 3. Final 4! Now with an added tail. Well, look who's finally back. Good thing, too, because I was getting tired of waiting to put a hurtin' on this ugly mud. Link, let's do this. Our game plan's the same as last time. You know what to do. Okay. That means run. Ow. Well, that was actually somewhat useful. Ow. If it was so useful, why didn't you do anything? You apparently didn't notice that the bomb actually damaged his feet. Yeah, because he still has all of his toes. Oh, wait. He's missing his heel. Ow. Trying to get the head out. Doesn't work. Failing. Hmm. A little fast. Well, yeah. As soon as third form is going to be a lot harder now. Oh. Get off! Quit locking onto his fingers. Out of the way, fire. Yes. Stalled him, if nothing else. Now it's time to toe de jour. Okay. And now he has a limb. Okay. Yes, but he's still fast. He's, he's the most athletic person with a limp, ever. Quit locking onto his fingers. And stop running into his fingers.
And it hit his bad leg. Just gotta get I ahead of notice, him. I kind of noticed that he has like the Godzilla spine thing going on for him. Yep. And that's done with phase one. Well, not quite, because you still gotta pound the nick. You gotta pound the nail into his forehead. Right. There it is. And done. Phase one done. Starting with the phase two. Wait, what? Aww. Oh. Why is he floating? Whoa, since when did it learn how to fly? It's headed straight for the temple, but there's no way I'm letting it get there. Big Ugly's going down burning. Okay, and there's no Prep way time. for Link to do anything, but this is all according to plan. Launch. Boom. Come back and down. And straight to the bottom. Thank you. Is that it? Man, I thought this was going to put up more of a fight. Somebody really should thank that genius who made this machine. Okay, Link. Time for you to show the big ugly who's boss. Run! Running, 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 running. Running time! And stop. Uh -huh. He's gonna fly again. Uh -oh. Bruce has no oh no! Not good. The road crumbled and I can't get to the rest of my bomb stash. What do I do? Link, come up to the temple and make your way over here. Hustle up. Something tells me this is not going to end well. Right. Must hurry. Yay, minecart track. Wait, what? No, never mind. Okay. Link, we're in trouble. I can't get to my stash of bombs. Alright. Link, we've got no choice. You gotta get up on that ugly thing's head. Quick now. Okay. Nice, you're locked and loaded. We'll aim and send you straight to the spike on his head. Okay. And fire. And, and miss. Yeah, this is not going to end well. Yeah, I might still be able to make it. That way. That way's quicker. I can get there. Really, I can. He's being awfully generous with the time. Okay, made it now. I. Oh! Pause lost until the game over screen loads up again and you get a second chance. So let's do all of that all over again. Only I get to keep my health loss. Thank you, game. This, this game can be something of an a-hole about that. But what what was this? This is like the only only the second time or third this, Yeah, this is the third boss you screwed up on. Yeah. See, yeah, claws. There we go. Come on. There we go. And shortcut. Drop. Drop. Thank you. No, these are not the claw shots from the other game. They don't work like that. 
I know that. Ah, darn it, only bombs up here. Oh well. well. At least you at least you can reload the bag. Yep. A little bit more. 18. 19. 20. Five more. 21. 22. 23. 24. And 25. Done. Bomb bags full. Yep. And yay! Slide ride. <laughs> Try one more time for health. No. 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 I don't think there are any star bits here. Ah, uh, yeah. I was trying to recenter my sword. Ah, that happened again. Okay, let's check up here for any hearts. Nope. Just, Just bombs. Ah, uh, no, not what I meant to do. That's okay, you can jump straight down. Yes, I can. And there was a cliff with hearts on it. That I couldn't get access to. Well, you could have. You didn't notice, but your brain did. Oh, look, and you can skip the cut. Too, and, you did. and bombs away. Yes! Ow. Yay, what? Drop it. Ooh, right on the tail. Well, at least the tail is a nice gigantic target. The entirety of Godzilla Dawn is a nice gigantic target. Great for splash damage. Exactly. Well, at least you gave him his limp. Not that it matters because he's an Olympic one-legged runner. Get ahead of him. Yes! Mm. Ha! Ooh, hard. Nom, 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 nom. No, 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 no! Oh, well, that's well, at least still you helpful. Can get a, at least you can get ahead of him now. There we go. Well, not really that far ahead of him. Oh, well, yeah, he is an Olympic one-legged runner, after all. There we go, that should have damaged his feetsies. Except he still has three toes. I'm pretty sure your sword does more damage to his feetsies in the long run. Now you gotta drive that nail back into his forehead. Yes. Go, come on. Ah, oh, darn it. Can't get it on that derp. Okay. Serve what little I've got left. Four, one, two, and three. Done. Well, done with phase one. I'm not gonna say the same damn stuff again. He's repeating himself and doesn't, and he's not even aware of it. But Link is. Okay, Link's in position now. Hello, goodbye. For some reason, when it gets the giant halo, it makes me think of something out of Evangelion. Hmm. Though I think Godzilla was the actual inspiration here. Yeah. But still, it is an eldritch abomination. This is true. Wow, Godzilla is just the most awesomest Japan destroying monster ever. Right. And time for the race to the top. I can't believe it. it's not Mario Kart. Yeah, Groose, we know. Wait, that doesn't look like Rogue. 
That looks more like wall crumble. Yes, wall crumbled and got in the way of his road. Oh. Okay, up now we go. Yes. Oh, how how convenient. <laughs> you needed to get right where you needed to be. Indeed. We go and right into the basket. This time we're gonna aim a little over him. Fire! Done! Wow! Die, die, die! Fight over! <sighs> Only I thought to go over him in the first round. Oh well. Well, you won't be seeing him again for a while. Did Link just fly up into the air? I didn't see. And oh, it's floating again. Mm. Now, Link. Strike the ceiling spirit spike with a skyward strike and restore the seal quickly. All right. Last time. Huh. How many triangles can you find in this picture? About four. And we're done. Look at the what? The ceiling spike fits directly in the middle. Fits right in the middle triangle. Yep. And for some reason. I gotta say, Link, I thought we were goners this time. Sort of glad I was wrong about that. I'm gonna run ahead to the temple. You should get back there too. I. Th I think the last seal also resembles a rune used in Norse mythology related to Odin, I think. I'm not I entirely sure. I'm not sure on that. It's been a long time since I looked up runes. And time to restore some health. Nom 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 nom! Link and his ability to fill his heart, heart fill his heart gauge with heart fruit. Delicious. Better than Twilight Princess Link, who ate the hearts of his enemies. <clears throat> Beast has been sealed in a prison for a third time. Link, Bruce, you've both done well. But I fear we can't dwell on your success. The strength of the seal seems to wane with each escape. We're almost out of time, Link. Are you close to discovering the Triforce? Yes, actually. I see. You must seek out the three dragons and complete the song of the hero to find the Triforce. It's your right to search led you here. The Farron Woods are close by. Unfortunately, there's been an unusual turn of events in the woods. I'm unsure of what happened, but a short while ago, I noticed the path to the woods was completely flooded. To protect the land here, I closed the gate leading to the woods and drove back the water with a simple seal. The seal will only hold as long as the gate remains closed, meaning you'll not be able to open it without flooding these lands. Given the situation, I'm at a loss as to how you can enter the woods. <laughs> Is that all? Consider the problem solved. See, that last spell with the big ugly got me thinking about other ways to use the Grusinator. Just climb up into that bad boy and I'll give you a lift over the woods, all right? Nah. I'll run ahead and get her prepped for you. Come see me when you're ready to take a little flight. Oh my. The boy has made himself very useful, but he does have a tendency to cause trouble for those he helps. Safe journey. I wish you a soft landing, Link. Heh. <laughs> but first, save. Yes, saving is always a good idea. 
Especially after a major event like that. Yep. So you won't have to do it ever again. Also, free health chair. Yay, free health chair. And out the door we go. And believe it or not, I saved the most tedious quest for last. Yeah. Okay, way up is this way. Oh look, bugs. Don't care. Or do you? No, I don't. Why'd you pull out the net? Why are you head to Farron Woods, do you? No sweat. Just hop in the Grusinator and I'll fling you over. Okay. Alright, hop in. I'll take care of the flying. You worrying about the landing. And with my machine, the woods are just a fling away. Whee! Barren Woods. Slightly damp. Where are you going to cool off this summer? Water hole! <laughs> so, let's go visit the dragon and find out what's up. Because this uh, don't look natural. Maybe you should talk to Jabba the Blob. Blob of the Hut? Yeah. Okay. Blob of the Butt. Oh, Q, you. You're that one from before, come to think of it. I'd forgotten to ask your name. Hmm. Hmm. I see. Link, is it? Now there's an odd name, Q. Ah. What brings you to see me? This water! Q, Q. Q, it's good to see you again. Yes, things look a bit different here, don't they? The water came gushing out of the base of the tree behind me and flooded the entire woods. I don't know what caused it, but I suppose it will clear out the monster infestation, Q. So you won't hear me complaining. Okay. Again, let's go talk to the dragon. And I know just where to go. Yay! Just don't keep spinning yet. No. Wait, is that a dragon? Ah! That's a... Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Ugh, jelly jalobs. It's like a giant mutant snot monster. Yeah, pretty much. Ooh, air. Yay! Mmm, yeah. air, so delicious. Right. Well, what do you think he has a bottle of? Um, true. Or is it like that potion that Harry uses in that, I think, the fourth Harry Potter movie, and it gives him gills? Um, I don't think it's like that. I think it just extends how well he uses oxygen for a while. So, essentially, it floods his lungs. Basically. Who dares dip even a toe in the waters without my leave? Oh, it's you. I remember you. You're the young human who helped me recover my injuries some time ago. Link, wasn't it? <laughs> Last seven, look at you. Yes, you seem a good deal stronger than the last time we met. And look at that sword. You're the real thing, boy. It's clear you're the spirit of the hero of the goddess. 
Let me guess, you swam all this way here to try to get me to teach you the part of the song of the hero the goddess entrusted to me. That's all well and good, but I can't go around giving away something that precious to every hero who flounders into my waters. No, I think a final test is in order to ensure you are in fact the one meant to hear this melody of mine. This may be news to you, but some very irksome monsters have been overrunning my woods of late. Well, I decided that I've had enough. The easiest way to deal with an awful thing was to flood the whole woods. As it happens, almost every inch of greenery in the area is submerged. So here it is in this flooded land that I will test you. If you're up to completing the task that I ask of you, I see no reason why I shouldn't reward you with the melody you seek. She's not a very responsible dragon, is she? And then again, every hero that comes into her woods. Well, Link's been the only hero that's been here. Ever. And has pretty much passed every test so far, so why- And the other dragons didn't require a test. Why are you, bitch? Because. Water- Troll, water dragon! It's Link work for everything. As you just saw, I've split the melody you seek among my many tad tones and have hidden it around the forest. If you haven't already guessed, Link, here's your task. Take this score and collect all my musical friends out there. You can use that score to figure out how many tad tones are in each group. Find them and collect them and bring them back to me. If you can do that, well, then I'll just have to see you as someone worthy of learning the song of the hero. Lovely. Though technically, when you think about it, the fire dragon's part of the song you kind of had a test, but it was more of an it didn't, it was more inadvertently. Yeah. I think the fire dragon gave it to us out of sheer, well, damn. It's like, well, you lost all your crap, and I'm pretty sure I don't want you to put, put you through any more. Yeah. So here. So, okay. Time to chug this air potion. Blue balls give you gills! <laughs> this will be quite handy, and uh, spoiler alert, I don't get them all in one run. Yeah. So this will be but, kind of a two-parter. But the cool thing is, this potion I think lasts for pretty much the next... 10 or 15 minutes. It Somewhere lasts a there. long time, especially with the way we had it, with the, the way he planned to stack it out. Yeah. Which was rather ingenious of him, because I never thought of that. Actually, I'm huh? going to have to blame Nintendo Capri Sun on this one, because he did this run first rather than last, like I did. And so I actually got to get a preview of what I was up against. So, thank you, Tim. No, I just never thought of using the water potion and the potion metal at the same time. Because I knew where all the locations of them were, but kind of giving them at this point was kind of pointless. Because when you're moving in a three-dimensional area like this, left, right, up, and down kind of take on a completely new meaning. Not really, it's just left, right, up, and down relative to the facing of the character. Which you have a hard time keeping still. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, I kind of go about this in a very roundabout fashion, and... Oh, hi, Amber Relic. Let's go collect you. Just because it's been a while. It's been a while, and we gotta, you know, do that every so often in a video, just to make people giggle, like, hope. Yeah. Oh, this one gave me so much trouble. Yeah, I, I, I admit that when he started going, I turned my off. Which was probably a smart idea. Now, if I just kept going, I would have succeeded here. 
yes, he would have, which he actually manages to figure out before the potion wears off. Yeah. Oh well. This was my major problem in this area, and probably cost me a good deal of potion time. Was actually getting reset up for this area. That's okay, you do find more tad tones anyway. Yeah, being familiar with this area really helps. Yay! Two almost by accident. Yay, by accident. And don't bother speaking to the squids, they have nothing useful to say. Oh really, I thought they just gave clues to the whereabouts of some of the tad tones. I mean, that's the logical okay, yeah. conclusion. That That is the logical conclusion, but I actually found it much easier to just wander around due to your familiar... Due to familiarity with the area, you're yeah. better off not listening to them. Yeah. You know, just, unless you... Just think logically not, about where they would be, and you're pretty much going to find them. It's not really that difficult. No. If you're good and, at if you're good at this and know where each one is, this air potion with the extendo metal will pretty much last you. Yep. And you'll have time to spare, probably. But even if, if you do it right. Even if you run out, you've got plenty of air for each section. You just need to surface after each section's done. Yeah. And with the with the advantage of the infinite air power, you get to do infinite spins. Yep. Which really helps with moving along. Oh, hello. And oh, you bastard! Get back here. Get back here. Oh well, that helps. <laughs> and the sharks. The Those derpy don't sharks. Those look like sharks. Those look like. Hey, Link, dopey. some nasty fish seem to have swam their way in. Watch your toes. It looks more. They look more like retarded tuna. <laughs> or retarded. Do tuna have the stripes and spots, or is that salmon that I'm thinking of? Tuna. So they're retarded tuna. Yes. Gotcha. Which Finally, I'm set up for this area again. But do you go backwards, or do you keep going forwards? I don't know. I go backwards, even though it was right in my view that these things were there. Damn, I'm done. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm not going to disagree with you on that. At all. Damn. So you end, you ended up getting as derpy as those tuna look. Yeah. Honestly, I think it was just that I couldn't see the next tad tones coming up. Because of the purple bubbles. Yeah. They, they actually blended. blended in. And there, you finally figured it out! Hooray! Yep. Took you long enough. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, you finally saw it coming. Yay, got it. Now the good thing about having the infinite air potion on is that those purple bubbles won't affect you. Yeah, the purple bubbles actually drain your oxygen. So feel free to hit them as much as you need to to get something done. Mm, damn, I'm actually starting to run low on areas I can go to. I kept trying to tell him at this point, the area where you first met the... the yeah, the, the little plant thing. What are they called again? The Kikwi? The Kikwi, yeah. Yeah, I kept telling him to go there, and I'm pretty sure he had no idea what I was talking about at the time. No, I honestly couldn't understand a word you were saying. 
Man, come on. I know you're here. I know you're here. You bastard. Well, at least you know where both of them are at once. Yeah. But still, that's kind of dickish. Right there. Can't quite get to him without rushing. Come on. Line up. One. Two. Gotcha. Yay! We've almost got an entire stanza. Yay! Oh, look, a green one. Yay, green one. More green ones. Ooh. A line of green ones. Oh, Ow. And a wall. Ow. Yay! One more group and three individuals, and I'll have that entire stanza. I know uh, where one no individual is, and I kind of screwed myself out of getting it at at first, so uh, that'll be in part two. Yeah. Hi, derp. Stupid derp fish. Okay. Uh-oh. Starting to run out. That actually... Yeah, that lasted like a good ten minutes. Yeah. Darn it. Game Collector kept trying to tell me not to go and blow up the wall. Because I have the time, because he's actually ahead of my pre-play of this. Because I did that to make sure I knew what I was doing and what he would know what to do. And he got ahead of me, because we were doing a whole bunch of videos at once. I didn't know that the little pad tone that he needed in there was in there. Yeah. I never do anything without a reason. I mean, come on. Air. Thank you. And there's a singleton, which means one group and one single, and that stanza will be done. And flip. Almost flipper. Yes. You'll end up seeing the flipper thing done a lot here, and for some reason I thought he could go inside the tree from there. He cannot, which is stupid, because it would make things easy. No, they don't want things to be easy. And they call him Flipper, Flipper, Killer of Tuna. Well, what do you think they, what do you think they feed the dolphins in the thing? True. Also, tuna is what my cat eats from the can. Oh well, yeah, tuna's good for a cat. Oh, he loves it. So, just a few bits more, and hello, derp fish. Goodbye, derp fish. Come on, get out of my way! What'd get out of my get? way, and then explode. Flipper! Oh, there's... Well, there's some inside the temple. Ow. Why, why did you do that? I don't know. Okay. Sometimes you don't even know why you do things. Pretty much. Oh, darn it. I can't use it twice. Oh, well. Nope. Nope. If they made it a two, if they made it a double plus, then yeah, you would have been able to do that, but you can't make it a double plus. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Uh, That's okay. Okay, I need to go somewhere. I haven't quite figured out where yet, though. And this is kind of why we lose some time here. Yeah. Hi. Oh, are you collecting tadtons? Yes. I'll let you in on a secret then. Some tadtones hang out in groups. You have to catch those similar tadtones one right after the other or they'll swim out. You want to catch a bunch at once, use a spin maneuver to draw in nearby tadtones. Aside from that, it's really just a matter of keeping at it. Yes, thank you for saying what we said half an hour ago. And this is why they're 
partial waste of Ow. time. Dirtfish. Dirtfish, you go, boom. And with a slight interruption, we're back to the end of this particular episode. And the hunting of a little bit more fish. Oh, an ember relic that I'm not going to pick up. Yeah, because we already did that joke in this episode. Yep. Oh, look, some tad toes inside the temple entrance view tower thing. Yep. We're going to go get them. Nom, 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 nom. I uh, don't want to pick them up just yet. Oh, I want to avoid the spiky depth charge mines. Right. Well, they kind of are. They have the One, same two. general shape. The only difference is, is that they don't have oh, chains yes. attached to them. Q, Link, can you hear me? I thought up something good. Why don't you come chat with me? Fine, hit me up on Skype. Ooh, hello, Tadtone. One. And we got a singleton. And we completed a stanza. Yay! Along with a flipper. And flipper. And I think we'll talk with uh, Fatty Fat Fat and then be done with the episode. Yes, because he's giving you something that you could have used, like, I don't know, at the beginning. Yeah. That would have been useful. Then again, he's more fat than brains when you really think about it. He has brains? Hey, let me on. Let me on, fat ass. Come on. There we go. Q, how nice to see you again, Link. How goes the Tadton gathering? I actually thought of something. You see, it's... How should I explain this? The technique you used when searching for others in my tribe? You should use that. Yeah. Thank you, Fee. But really, Fee, you couldn't have thought of that? Come on. Really. I mean, Fee is the queen of stating the obvious in this game. She really should have saw that one coming. Yeah, she should have. And now, just a quick douse before we, you know, quit. Yep. Come on. So. Oh, hello. We're down there. All right. Anyways, this is Man in the Black Hat. And Game Collector. And we'll see you next time for more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. First look on Rezowalkthroughs.com. Later.